Welcome to the class students. Today in this session we are going to see the regression analysis in analysis of bivariate data. So for first of all let us see what do you mean by regression. Regression literally means turn return to the origin. Re regression is literally means return to the origin or stepping back towards the averages stepping back towards the averages averages are nothing but mean median mode and a line describing this tendency to regress or step back is called a regression line the line or a technique tendencing a line it is moving to backward stepping back is nothing but moving backward this we call it as regression line if two variables are correlated the unknown value of the one of the variable can be estimated by using the known value of the other variable. If two variables are correlated, already we know that what you mean by correlation. So if the two variables are correlated, the unknown value of one variable is can be estimated by using the known value of the other variable. The property of the tendency of the actual value to lie close to the, the estimated value is called regression. I repeat the property of the tendency of the actual value to lie close to the estimated value is called regression. In other words or in a wider way regression is the theory of estimation of unknown value of a variable with the help of the known values of the other variable. I repeat regression is the theory of estimation of unknown value of one variable with the help of the known value of the other variables. Okay, this we call it as regression. In regression analysis, we have two types of variables. One is independent, another one will be the dependent variable. The variable whose value is influenced or is to predicted is called dependent variable. If the value, if we have predicted that, that we call it as dependent variable. The variable which influence the values or is used for the prediction. For prediction, if we use the values that we call it as independent variable, predicted value we call it as dependent variable. For example, for example, let's see some example for this. X is price of a commodity. Price of a commodity and Y is demand for the commodity. Demand for the commodity. See here the price of the commodity is independent variable. Okay. Here price of the commodity is independent. Depending uh, demand for the commodity is the dependent variable. Depending on the price, depending on the price, the demand of the commodity will increase or decrease. If the price of the commodity is low, then the demand will be high. If the price of the commodity is high, the demand will be less. So demand is demand for the commodity is the independent variable. Second one, X, yield of vegetable. Yield of vegetables. And uh, Y is price of vegetables. Price of vegetables. Here the yield of the vegetables is an independent variable because uh, depending on the yield the price of the commodity price of the vegetables will whether it will increase or decrease so yield of the vegetables is a independent variable and price of the commodity is the dependent variable okay next one Sometimes these uh, independent and dependent variable can be linear or non-linear also. Sometimes this uh, independent and dependent variable can be linear or non-linear also. To find out, to, to consider the bivariate data when we have two variables, we have two types of equations. One will be uh, equation of x on y and another will be the equation of y on x. If the equation of x on y regression equation regression equation of x on y is x minus x bar is equal to b of y x y into y minus y bar 
So here x is an independent variable and y is the dependent variable depending on the value we are going to calculate. Similarly, we have another regression equation, regression equation of y on x. It is y minus y bar is equal to b of y x into x minus x bar. So these two are the regression equations to find out the uh, independent and the dependent variables. Okay, and here this b of x y and b of y x. This b of x y we call it as regression coefficient of x on y, and b of y x we call it as regression coefficient of y on x. And here this x bar and y bar are x bar and y bar are the means of x and y values. These two are the regression equations and uh, this b of x y and b of y x are the regression coefficient of x on y and y on x and x bar and y, are, y bar are the mean that average arithmetic mean of the x and y values. Next. Uh, Next, properties of regression coefficients. Properties of regression coefficient. Okay, the first property says that the regression coefficient b of x y is a is the change occurring in x for a unit change in y. The regression coefficient of b of y x is the change occurring in y of a unit change in x. First property will say says the regression coefficient of the regression coefficient of b of x y is change in x for a unit change in y. Unit change in y and b of y x is change in y change in y for a unit change in x unit change in x see here if we increase the or if we change a, a number to for a if we change the y value the x value will also change because that x is depend on y if x is changing Similarly, y will also change us. Second one, regression coefficients are independent of change of origin but not of scale. Regression coefficients are, regression coefficients are independent of, independent of change of origin, change of origin but not of scale. If we can shift the origin in the axis x and y axis but if we can we cannot change the scale okay if we can if we change the scale the regression coefficient we will not get the correct answers next third point the geometric mean of the regression coefficients is equal to the coefficient of correlation third one the geometric mean the geometric mean of geometric mean of the regression coefficients regression coefficient is a is equal to the is equal to the correlation coef, correlation coefficient correlation coefficient coefficient numerically that is numerically numerically that is I'll, I'll write this one this uh, correlation coefficient is plus r minus square root of b of y x into b of x y x y into y x okay so here here this we can prove this we can prove this one I will show how it is see here this is equal to sorry b of x y is equal to gamma into sigma x y sigma y and uh, b of y x is equal to r into sigma y by sigma x. So, if I take this relation, 
if I take this relation, see b of x y into into b of y x is equal to r into sigma x by sigma y into r into sigma y by sigma x. So this will get cancelled. This is r square b of x y into b of y x or r is equal to square root of b of x y into b of y x. So this we have proved. So the geometric mean of two regression coefficient is equal to the correlation coefficient numerically. So this we have proved in examination they will they may ask to prove this for two marks. Okay. Next one. So the next property since the coefficient of correlation numerically cannot be cannot be greater than one. The product of regression coefficients cannot be greater than 1. The fourth point, the correlation coefficient, the correlation coefficient cannot be, cannot be greater than 1, greater than 1. Therefore, therefore, the product of the regression coefficients, the product of regression coefficient cannot be greater than 1 greater than 1 cannot be greater than 1 uh, that is that is that is nothing but b of x y into b of y x should be greater than uh, should be less than or equal to 1 it should be less than or equal to 1 so that product of the two regression coefficient should be less than or equal to 1 if uh, one more is there. If one of the regression coefficient is greater than 1, if 1 is greater than 1, that regression coefficient uh, among those two, another should be less than 1, then only we will get the correlation coefficient will be less than or equal to 1. Last one, fifth point, the two regression coefficients cannot be of opposite signs. Okay, the two regression coefficients, the two regression coefficients cannot be of opposite sign opposite signs if b of x y is positive b of y x should be positive if uh, b of x y is negative b of y x should be negative then only you will get the correct answer one uh, both should have the same sign they should not have a opposite signs okay if uh, that is both the positive uh, together or both are negative or both should be zero together. Okay, both should be zero or it should be positive or it should be negative. Next, these are the five important properties of regression coefficient. Next, properties of regression equations or lines. Properties of regression equations or lines. The first property is the two regression lines intersect at y bar, x bar and y bar. x bar and y bar will be the mean values. The two regression lines, the two regression lines intersect at x bar comma y bar these two are the mean values x bar and y bar are the two mean values second one is if the variables are positively correlated then the regression lines will have positive slope when the slope is negative the variables are negatively correlated we know that already we know that in a correlation coefficient the if the variables are positively correlated if the variables are positively correlated the variables are positively correlated then the regression lines will have a positive slope then regression lines have positive slope if 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 when the slope is negative if the slope is negative slope is negative then the variables are 
variables are negatively correlated negatively correlated if we have the positive value it will it should have a positive slope if we get a negative slope definitely it is a negatively correlated variable sir next if there is if there is perfect correlation the regression lines coincides there will be only one regression line sir if third point if the if there is a perfect correlation if there is perfect correlation correlation then 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 the regression lines coincides the regression line coincides the regression lines are coincide that is only one line we can see if they are perfectly perfect correlation perfect correlation is nothing but perfect positive or perfect negative correlation okay and then last point fourth point is when the correlation does not exist the two regression lines are perpendicular to each other if correlation does not exist if it is the, the, does not exist means this r value is zero then two lines are perpendicular to each other perpendicular to each other okay if we draw the slopes if we draw the points on the graph you will get this perpendicular line if there is no correlation coefficient if the correlation coefficient is zero then you will we can see the perpendicular lines so these are all about regression equations or regression lines so in later session let us see some problems on this regression analysis thank you